Hi, Scorpio. I'm an energy worker. I'm here today with a 10 day forecast asking for a message that will um, be most needed by the Scorpio tribe. Scorpio, next 10 days for the sign of Scorpio, please. Next 10 days for the sign of Scorpio. Next 10 days for the sign of Scorpio, please. Scorpio, this is this story is going to revolve around love. So this is about love of some kind. Doesn't need to be romantic love, although I think for some of you this will be romantic love. This is a story of overcoming some kind of sadness, overcoming some kind of shadow aspect in, in one's life. This is moving forward very passionately into a new reality after absorbing some difficult understandings, having some realizations here. It looks like, Scorpio, that you've had to be in a very in a position of, of consistent effort, effort made in this, in this endeavor, consistent effort made. There has been some kind of situation that you were in that kept you tied down. It kept you in fear. It kept you in a, a state of trauma, whatever the situation was. Okay, whatever this was, Scorpio, you really, um, this is, this is a group of you that, that has walked away from something, walked away from something that was really terrifyingly, um, difficult. And it was something that could have kept you constrained or kept you, um, oppressed for, for a very long time. Right, so you have taken a risk now, Scorpio, and you had walked away. Okay, so I think for most of you here, this is something that you've done. You've walked away from something. Either this was work that you were doing, a project that you were doing, right? Because we have the Five of Pentacles here too. There is a lack of, of some kind of security here that I feel. All right, so, so the good news here, Scorpio, is that you are moving in the energy of the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is all about new starts, passionate beginnings, passionate movement forward, taking what you've learned and using that and using that wisdom, using that enlightenment to help um, spur your, your, your movement forward now, to help spur on the strength that you know that you have within yourself, to build that back up and spur that on and take that fire and move forward with that fire. And that is, I think, um, Scorpio, a, a really um, beautiful element of this story. What I see here is overcoming something that was really very difficult, right? We have very difficult energies here. This is blocking this is blocking you. You understand that whatever this was, Scorpio was blocking your happiness was blocking any, any future for happiness. You understand that. And so there was something that you moved away from. Okay. This could have been a year ago. This could have been six months ago. This could have been last week, but there's something here that you walked away from. And now you're in a position where you're looking out into your future and studying what you have now, what's left in your life, what you like to gain in your life and how you would like to move forward and make this a reality for yourself. This is overcoming confusion and really looking at the different options that you have in front of you. Having some fogginess here, of course, when you go through a situation like this, there is fogginess here. There is um, confusion, but there is really um, a, a very focused, because we have the Queen of Pentacles here. This is a very focused view, a very focused foundation towards happiness, right? In order to make changes like this, that took a lot of strength, that took willpower. And the reason why you were able to gather the strength to make this move 
right, to make this move away from this is because you know that emotional fulfillment is a major goal for you in this lifetime, right? Without emotional fulfillment, without happiness, you know, um, it, life just can be too long. It can be too traumatic, right? And so sometimes we're forced to make changes in our life so that we can engage again with the possibility of finding a new way of life, finding a new perspective, finding new outlooks, right? And so there was some kind of transition that was made here. What's beautiful is I feel like in the next 10 days or so, you're going to really get your spirit back again. There's going to be a message that comes through for you, either from someone that you love, from, uh, it could be an acquaintance, but there's definitely here a message that comes through that really um, reminds you of, of who you are. Because I think even at this point, Scorpio, you could have lost some of your own identity right? You, you have to build that back in because when we go through, uh, when we go through emotions like this, um, we can be robbed of our very essence. And so this is a, a process now, Scorpio, of rebuilding that back up within yourself. And we see that there is help here coming. We have a message coming in for you that will help light that flame inside you, will help remind you of the strength of the beauty that you have, uh, of the power that you have to create a, a a brand new start for yourself. And I see that um, in the next 10 days or so, in the next time period here, it's a short time period, you're really going to start to find your balance again with the, the chariot energy, All right? So we have the page of wands coming in. We have the chariot, chariot energy coming in. And we also have the hermit coming in. And the hermit talks about really moving forward, coming out of a period of seclusion, a period of, of quiet reflection, of internalizing the external um, lessons that we, we live and the external experiences that we live to internalize that, to learn from that, to find enlightenment in that. And we see that you're moving forward in a very wise way into the future. We see that um, you're by yourself now. You're, you're walking in, in a solo way. Um, you are um, wanting to find balance in love in your life, right? That's what you're wanting. You're wanting to find balance in love. You're wanting to find a love that is fair, that is reciprocal, that is, um, that, that is, um, that allows you to live in the kind of mindset that feels best for you, right? That allows you to be your full and, and, um, and, and your full self allows you to reach your full potential, right? This, you're, you're worried about love and you're worried about bringing that kind of love in. And if it's possible to bring that in, these are the kinds of thoughts that you're having right now. But what I see is that you do have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of this reading, right? You do have, um, the awareness that love is coming your way, right? You, you have the internal understanding that we must exit out of a situation before we can bring in a new situation, right? So the logical side of you, Scorpio, knows that this is part of the process of connecting to a new reality. And part of you, Scorpio, is overcoming a deep, deep sadness and a deep loss of something that was in your life that you moved away from. And so you're in the process of transitioning right now. And we see that you're worried about the balance. You're worried about the wisdom that you have. You're worried about what you've learned, right? You're worried about these things. And, and there's some kind of, of enlightenment here that, um, makes you, it, it, it's, let me try to get, an idea here. It's, it, you re, you're realizing some things that are very important for you to, to reach into the next level of your understanding. But there still is worry here. It's like you're, you're, it's, it's a transition. You're transitioning. And so you have to allow yourself some time, Scorpio, as you transition into a different belief system. It takes time. It doesn't just happen overnight. It, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes time to change belief systems. It takes time to change the way that you think and the patterns of your thoughts. It takes time to do that. And so what I like about this reading is I see that you're gaining balance. I see that you're gaining alignment. You're moving forward, right? You're making decisions. You're taking action. You're moving forward. And you're also adopting a, a new way of thinking about something. And so in the next 10 days, whether 
this is just something that's coming up in your life now. Maybe you walked away from something a year or two ago, right? And you have been in like a very stagnant, stagnant position for, for a long time. Or this is something that just happened very recently. I see that in the next 10 days or so, you're going to start to feel something is going to happen in your life that you're going to start to feel new energy again, that you're going to start to feel that flame within you again, that water running through you, that emotion running through you that feels good again, that feels loving again. Something is going to happen here with this page, with this page of wands. So let's dig just a little bit deeper here and see what is this page of wands that's coming in? What is this page of wands, please? Four of Swords. There's healing in this in this message. There's definitely healing that comes through in this message. Um, this could be prayer. This could be meditation. This could be telepathy. This could be coming in and resting and finding peace, finding healing for oneself, starting to understand your value, how much you're treasured as a human being. You know. This, this is about healing from some kind of conflict that you went through, some kind of confusion that you, that you experienced, um, some kind of illusion that you experienced, or some kind of major confusion here um, where you didn't understand what was happening in your life. There was some conflict that came up that really put you in a position of, of deep confusion and, and um, just not knowing even who to believe or even what scenario to, to move forward in. Um, you could have been in a, in a place of, um, uh, of, of just, yeah, I'm just getting like real confusion here. Not knowing there's pain here too, because there's, yeah, it had to be healing, right? There's healing from some kind of conflict and confusion. All right. So I, I think what this is referring to, is not what actually happened to you, but the healing portion of it, there's been some healing here that's taken place. And this page of pentacles comes forward as well. So it's, it's like you're getting, you're getting some, you're getting messages here, whether you're getting messages from yourself, from your spiritual team or messages from people around you, you are starting to, to feel a, a, a tangible difference in, in your life, right? There, there is a beginning of a recovery here, Scorpio, and it's beautiful. All right, there's a beginning of a, of a recovery, um, and I think this is going to be, it looks to be like it's it's the real deal here with the recovery. It looks to me like you've really done some work here and, and went deep um, into your into your experience and have, and have come out of that um, of that experience wiser and and um, very in tune with with who you are and what you would like to see in your life moving forward. Let's look at this Knight of Cups energy at the bottom. Why is the Knight of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Four of Cups. This is about knowing what what is the right kind of love for you. What what is the right kind of love experience for you? What is the right kind of a relationship for you? Right. This is really knowing what is going to bring happiness into your into your into your special split into your special place. Again, we have the hermit with the four of cups. This is coming out of an experience knowing, you know, knowing how to overcome discontentment, knowing how to overcome um, life or knowing how to overcome a situation when there are options that just don't seem feasible or when there are options that really um, are, are not healthy. This is starting to understand and, and be discerning or, or really reminding oneself or learning further, learning further how to have further discernment and further protection and further kindness and compassion for your own experience rather than the experiences of others. All right. So this is a, this is the lesson here. The lesson is if you are not happy in love, then there is no way that the people around you can be happy in love if you are not happy. So this is about finding that internal happiness, understanding and, and being very discerning about what brings you the most joy, what type of people are the, the most, um, healthy to for you to be around this is understanding how important the environment is around you um 
so that you can connect in with the best possible scenarios for yourself. So this is the kind of um, contemplation that's going on in the next 10 days or so. Um, let's look at this Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, I mean, you know that you, you had to have walked away. You had to have walked away. There was no other way to do it. You intuitively knew that you had to walk away from this. And some of you left quite a bit behind, whether it was a home, whether it was work that you were working on, whatever this was, you, you walked away from something that you intuitively knew was not, yeah, here's that seven of cups again. It, it keeps coming out. We've had the seven of cups now three times coming out. You walked away from a situation that was confusing, that was, um, it, it, it stopped you from having any kind of growth in your life. It left you um, very, um, it, it just was a period of time that it, it was just confusing and hurtful. That's what I'm getting here, Seven of Cups. Something about this was very confusing constantly. Could be mind games, could be illusions, could be, um, I, I'm not sure what this is. It, it just could be not being able to make a decision about something. Whatever this is, um, you have now gained strength with the Queen of Wands. So you're rising up from the High Priestess, this in intuition, this strong intuition, this intuitiveness that you felt here in this situation that you must walk away, that there was no way to really heal this situation, there was no way to really fix it, that this was an experience that was supposed to teach you something and it was necessary for you to move on. That's what the High Priestess came to tell you. That's what your own high priestess was there to tell you. And so you walked away from a situation that could have been very long. Um, you put a lot of effort into it, a lot of emotional toll. It was a situation that um, was very confusing and could have been someone who really played with your mind, played with, played with your possibilities, played with your outcomes, played with things in your life this person or this situation could have even been a group of people could have been people at work doesn't have to be a lover but something here was playing around with you playing around with your energy playing around with your thoughts playing around with your potential whatever it was um there there is some anger here still which which is is to be is to be expected but we see you rising up as a queen of wands okay we see you getting your voice again we see you getting your energy again we see you getting your strength back and we see you gaining that beauty again and i don't mean an external i i don't mean an external beauty i mean an internal beautiful spark that has always been inside you. We see that beginning to glow, the embers beginning to glow again, and the flames beginning to light up within you, right? You're starting to feel that passion again inside yourself with the Queen of Wands energy. So that's beautiful, very beautiful. Um, and so for those of you who are feeling like um, you may never get out of this situation, um, this is just hope for you. This is just a story here. Um, a scenario that's playing out to give you um, hope, to give you comfort, to give you assurance that there is a new day dawning for you, right? That there is a new day dawning for you. So for this group of people, we're going to move over to Vimeo now, and we're going to look at how the situation will be for the next six weeks. All right. How will you be feeling? What are some of the things that might be happening with you? Um, and, and we'll see how this trajectory is going to look for you. All right. So Scorpio, thank you very much for this group of you who have gone through something this horrific. I really commend you for your strength. I, um, I, I send, um, thoughts and, and wishes for, for healing and for strength. And, um, I look forward to seeing how the next six weeks is going to go, but I do feel like you're on the rebound here. I, I do feel like this is going to be getting going for you now in a, in a different and very positive direction. All right. So Scorpio, I wish you the best and um, I'll see you back on YouTube again. All right. Thank you, Scorpio.